over the last several days, we've been uh, realizing that it's actually across Canada. The Canadian Anesthesiologist Society is sounding the alarm over a countrywide epidural shortage. Epidurals are the standard of care to manage some of the worst pain a person can experience, including childbirth. The only province that currently is unaware of, of a local shortage is Nova Scotia. So pretty much the entire country is, a, is uh, experiencing or anticipating a shortage. The Canadian Anesthesiologist Society says supply chain disruptions are behind the epidural shortage in Canada also being seen in the United States and Australia. What we initially heard from various provinces was that they were fine, but when they actually inquired about you know, their supply, they then realized that they only had a two, three week supply. And so they were completely unaware of, of the their own local shortages. Dr. Lucy Filto says the shortage appears most dire in BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan and Manitoba. But the shortage is also becoming evident in the eastern provinces. Epidurals are used for pain management during and post major surgery. But one of the most common uses for epidurals is pain management for women in labor. In Canada, 50 to 60 percent of women giving birth receive an epidural, with that number jumping to 80 percent for women delivering their first child. I don't know that I would have necessarily gotten pregnant when I did if that was not going to be an option available to me. It never was even a consideration that that was not something that potentially would be an option. Kristen Walker is 30 weeks pregnant and was in labor for over 16 hours with her first child who was born with the help of an epidural. Walker lives in Regina where a week ago the Saskatchewan Health Authority issued a release asking expecting families to review pain management options as supply chain issues may impact the availability of labor epidurals. It's definitely causing anxiety and stress um, for those of us that are coming up against this, the fact that the option has been essentially taken away from us. I think that a epidural catheter shortage will be um, a challenge, definitely present a challenge to some moms. Doula Carissa Morrow recognizes an epidural shortage could be alarming to some moms. Morrow explores alternative pain management with her clients and wants women to know there are ways to minimize labor pains even if epidurals are not available during delivery, like focusing on breathing, massage and alternating body positions. Women have given birth for um, since the beginning of time without medication, so it can be done and even though there is a shortage at this time, we as doulas uh, want to work to support moms the best that we can. A spokesperson from Manitoba Health tells City News an alternative supply of epidural catheters has been secured to offset the supply chain disruptions being experienced in the province. But for expectant mothers and those with upcoming surgeries in other parts of Canada, they'll have to wait and see. So we can't really say whether or not it will be available. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.